this. So again, we're about maybe another 500, 600 meters away from the last tree. And another one has popped up, yeah. Um, another one that's been scratched to shit and fairly recently. But the same consistent with the same consistent gouges and then have a look at that you know and again it goes up a fair way up until about that branch and again it's just shredded the tree's just been shredded um fairly recently you know it's not a tiny tree um, you know, that's my knife in the tree. Um, it's not a tiny knife. So you can see that's a fairly impressive tree to just take on and scratch the fuck out of like that. I mean, have a look at it, it's just been butchered. Okay, really, again, fresh looking scrapings scrapings on the base you know you've got to be looking within the fuck I don't know within the fortnight I reckon definitely you know and that's just so common I mean have a look at the destruction on this thing you know just have a look at, have a look at it I mean that's serious fucking damage man that's like you know, and again, they, it goes up and it peters out about maybe, I don't know, two, three metres up there. Look at that savage. You know, that's some savage claws. I don't care what anybody says. A koala's not going to do that. A kangaroo's not going to do that. I don't know about moose or caribou or deer, but I know that moose and caribou or deer aren't three metres high, you know, I know that, so, what are we talking about here, I don't know, I'm not sure, but the more I look now, that's three scratching posts, one that's aged and hasn't been touched for a year, and two that are very fresh looking, you know, and heavily, and just heavily butchered, and then you got this over here too. Yeah. Looks like it's just like had a go at the bottom of one of these trees. You know, and again, you're talking some massive fucking claws to, to dig in like that. I mean, if you have a look here, you know, it's gone past all the bark and into the actual wood of the tree and you know that's serious effort to do that because this bark is thick it's thick shit you know that's just one layer of it and it's layers thick you know to just smash through it like that you know then you have a look at the this branch in front of it yeah See how it's, it's all worn and it's been rubbed up against and it's been chewed on. You know, um, I mean, look at that. That in there, you can see a gnarly scratch come down there. You know, it's been rubbed up against by the... Well, it's been having a go at the bottom of this tree. It's been lying there and, you know, going hack on it. Typical of big cats. Even around here, you can see this branch. This branch here that's leaning up against it. It's worn, yeah, it's been rubbed up against lots. No, it's not like that. It's like that. You know, it's not from being chewed, it's from being rubbed up against. Scratch, the scratching post. Plus it'll get a back scratch on that. Branch, but you know, just to have a look at that, that's significant, man. Again, that's at the bottom of a large tree. It's just meters away from 
from this one that's been butchered as well. I don't know, but to me, the evidence is definitely mounting. 